A dream is a wish your heart makes. Hello my wonderful magical sparks, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and today I'm going to be doing a very long awaited sketchbook tour! You know what, no more further ado, let's get straight into the sketchbook tour and smash it out! Well, not smash the sketchbook, but get through the video! <laughs> Anyways, this is the sketchbook that I'm using, it is from the brand Born, that is B-O-R-N and initially this sketchbook actually did come with like a red strap and a black cover kind of like what you can see here but in one of my videos i went ahead and customized the cover i used glitter paints and acrylic paint pens and everything to customize it and now it looks super sparkly and super pretty and <laughs> with that let's get into the sketchbook well you know what i mean <laughs> into the video of the sketchbook door personally i always like to carry around a little clip like this because especially when it comes to these types of sketch books it really helps to kind of keep the paper down which is really helpful so let's get straight into it now three two one and we have absolutely nothing and guys that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> don't worry this is just like the very very front page i just kind of wanted to leave it blank because well quite frankly i didn't really care about it but after this comes the fun part ready so this is the drawing that I made when I also customized my sketchbook. They were both part of the same video where I tested out some acrylic paint pens that was sent to me by the company Artex. It has got a really, really pretty metallic finish, which I love, and I love how this font turned out as well. Anyways, I remember hating this drawing when I made it, but looking back at it now, it's not that bad. I don't know why I hated it. So this sketchbook took me from the 20th of January this year to the 18th of September this year. In my opinion, this is a very long time because in this time span last year, I filled out two sketchbooks and in the previous years, I filled out up to five or six sketchbooks. But in my defense, I was working on three sketchbooks simultaneously, one for school, one for personal stuff, and one just as like a blurting out my emotions kind of thing. So technically, I did fill in three sketchbooks, just not like proper sparkle style sketchbooks. <laughs> so let's move past the sparkliness and we're on to this. So this is actually um, a cutout from a different page. I made this drawing, I hated it, then I cut it out and I was gonna chuck it in the bin and then I looked at it and I was like, well, it's not actually that bad. So I stuck it in here. And this was a drawing that I made in class because for some reason I was sneezing in summer and I don't know, I just thought it looked kind of cute, so I decided to stick it in here. This is the actual first drawing that I made in the sketchbook. And the thing with this page is I wanted to try and stick with a color palette. I want to try something a bit different, so I went with a dark brown, light brown, and blue color palette with touches of pink and tan colors here and there. This page was mainly inspired by my mechanical pencil that I recently got, but honestly, I love how this page turned out. It was really nice, except for the fact that the fine liners that I used here did kind of smudge and ruin the face, but that's okay. We managed to save it. Now, this page, I was drawing my favorite cartoon characters, Tom, Jerry, and Quackers. Honestly, I had no idea this guy had a name until I watched the Tom and Jerry show. I'm not sure if you guys knew either. So this one is when I was testing out the Ahuhu Kala Skin Tone set. It was such a fun marker set to experiment with and this is the final drawing. I personally love, 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 love how the hair turned out. As you can see, it's kind of got like a diamond kind of shading effect, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And now the next thing we have is this page that I colored in during my live stream. I sketched it before the live stream and then colored it in during the live stream. So pretty much the story behind this is my sister picked out three colors and then I tried to make a drawing inspired by those colors. And honestly, I love everything about this except for the side profile, but hey, there's always room for improvement. We just have to accept it and learn and move on. This page was me <laughs> sketching. I wasn't actually in my room. I only had my pastel marker set from Uhuhu, so I was just carrying that around and I tried to make like a full illustration with just like the limited colors that I did have. And quite frankly, I like it a lot. Pretty much just two people in animal hoodies. I think it turned out pretty cute. Now moving on, this page, just a bunch of 
I guess, moments of fun and enjoying art happening here. And over here, we have a drawing that I made for Valentine's Day. So it doesn't really follow any kind of specific prompt or anything. It's not really about love or anything. It's more about just loving the process when it comes to art. And I decided to incorporate heart and the color pink, which was the main elements that were inspired by Valentine's Day. Some more sketching, drawing a little plant in my house. This was part of a, I think it was a five ways to fill your sketchbook video. I did this with pencils and I will say, pencils are not great on this paper. As you can see, it's really hard to get that smooth coverage because of how textured the paper is. It's great for graphite, but not too much for colored pencils. Personally, I like having really, really kind of smooth um, transitions when it comes to colored pencils. Wait a second, let me show you what I mean. So now just to show you what I mean, I have my previous sketchbook from last year and I'll show you guys the colored pencil sketches that I made here as well. Okay, so I made this last year and as you can tell, it's like really smooth and blends it out really, really well. This is also a born sketchbook, but it's spiral bound and it's much less textured, which I kind of like about it. And I also filled in this sketchbook last year as well. And let me show you guys how I did my pencil sketches. So as you can tell for this page, this is the back of it. This is what I pretty much did. I laid down ink with my markers and then I went on top with colored pencils to create this beautiful effect. Till this day, I love this drawing. I love how it turned out and I love everything about it. And that's pretty much what I was trying to achieve on the previous page as well. But as you can tell, the pencils were just not doing it on this paper. So that's definitely something to consider if you're thinking of buying the sketchbook, because in my personal opinion, it doesn't work as great with pencils because the other smoother sketchbooks are much better. And you can get cool effects like this. Okay, moving on, this was part of the five ways to fill your sketchbook video again. A really fun, quick, simple idea. Well, quick depending on how quick you want to make it. <laughs> and this is just a sketch of my doggy. I tried using limited colors so it didn't really turn out that vibrant. But if I were to do this again, I would definitely pick a lot more brighter colors. This was, again, from the same video. Personally, I like the concept behind these, but I feel like the page is just way too empty. And I personally like to have it just a bit more full and kind of busy, if you know what I mean. This was a continuation of that, and this was planning for the Mother's Day card, and of course, a random sketch. This was me drawing my little brother. His name is June, by the way. If you guys don't know already, he's an angel, and this is me just kind of drawing him because, of course, we love drawing him. I love how this one turned out. It's really, really cute, and he's amazing. Here I was drawing our little plant, Gilbert. He's not real, he is a fake plant, but he is still a beautiful plant nonetheless. And honestly, I love how this page turned out. Okay, random sketches that I made in school. This was a page where I loved the sketch, but I kind of messed up with the coloring and... But nonetheless, I think the page turned out pretty cute. Just me meditating. I don't know why, I just didn't color this in. I guess I just liked the sketch. Or maybe it was just that I was afraid to ruin it. But that doesn't really matter. So now we have the Artex pen swatches. We have sets A and B. And here I went to like a leadership seminar. It was really, really cool. And I kind of started drawing in between because that kind of helps me to focus personally. So I made this sketch during the seminar. It took me ages to make this detailed sketch, but I had so much fun making it. And then the seminar helped me to feel much more self-confident about myself. And, and I kind of just ended up writing down some key points that help us to feel just a bit more confident. So if you need that wonderful confidence boost, make sure to pause the video and have a look at what it says here. And moving on. This was such a fun page to make. I love how all these fruits and vegetables and foods turned out. So much fun. And this page was an absolute blast to color in. I love the color palette and I really, really love how the hair turned out. I think it just looks so pretty. It's got like an orange and pink undertone, which I love. Again, just some doodling, trying to draw a guy, but not liking how it turned out so much. This was the Easter drawing that I made. I tried drawing a plus size girl and she was holding an Easter egg. One thing that we don't want to look at though is the hand because the hand looks a little bit 
terrifying, <laughs> but the bunny does look kind of cute. And here I tried drawing Mother Gothel, and this was the point where I got my 320 Uruhu marker set, which was so exciting. So this is the first drawing that I made with that set. This was some fan art I made while I was watching the Netflix series, All of Us Are Dead. It's actually really good, but check the rating before you watch it, because I am aware that a lot of you guys are kids, so, you know, check the rating, check with your parents. And this was just a drawing that I made to match the green on this page. Love how it turned out as well. And continuing with the green color palette. And thank you, Mango Clouds, for the cute stickers. Um, so with the next page, I don't want you guys to look at it, but I'm still going to show you. But I want you guys to close your eyes while I show you. <laughs> can I trust you? Can I trust you? Hope I can. So pretty much, I still have the recording for this page. I want to edit it, but I personally just hate it. And I hate how the drawing turned out, so... I'm probably not going to do that, I might just end up deleting it after like a couple more months because I don't want to part with it yet. Anyways, yeah, very bad, big fail. The sketch was great, line art, mm, not so great, and the coloring was horrendous, so we're just not going to talk about it. Um, me just trying to cover up the previous page, and a little drawing of Captain America, I love how this turned out. The face is so good, there's so much depth, I really really love how this turned out. Also, I love how I used like a blue ballpoint pen on top, it has such a cool effect. And now here, I was doing some sketches from the Looney Tunes show as I was watching it. It's not that good because I didn't like use a pencil underneath to make sure it was okay before going in with my fine liners. I kind of just went in directly with the fine liners, which is why it's so messy. In my opinion, Daffy looks the best on this page, Bugs has way too small eyes, Porky's face looks a bit scary, and Tweety does not look like Tweety. But again, that's totally fine. But I do love the color palette. I think that's really, really pretty. And here, I started watching Shadow and Bone. And I must say, this series is truly one in a million because it was really fascinating. And I loved it. And yeah, here I drew my favorite character. If you know him, you know him. If you don't, you don't. Just watch the series to find out. And now we have some more fan art of Shadow and Bruin. We have two more characters, not the main characters, which is why I decided to draw them. And we have a quote as well. So it pretty much says, there is a cost always to making difficult choices, but the key is making sure that the cost is not regret. I think that is a really powerful quote that can be applied to everyone's lives. And now here we have some more sketching and I was pretty much trying to change my art style and this was the point where I filmed my face drawing tutorial which the art style is much different in that tutorial to my current art style. Anyways, I do kind of like this though. And we have a quote from Mulan and we have Jerry again because we all love Jerry but I will say <laughs> Tom is much more better than Jerry and if you don't agree then too bad for you because I vote for Tom. And also just a quick quote that I found on Google, I don't have an attitude, just a personality that you can't handle. Love the quote and it matches so well with this pose. Moving on, this was a sketch that I made but never colored in. The sketch was actually inspired by this color palette, but like I said, didn't color it in. And now this is sort of like a mini pocket kind of thing. And I added like lyrics to a song in here. This is the song from Cinderella, from Disney Cinderella. I had some spare paper, so I thought, why not? It's pretty much the song, um, what's it called? A dream is a wish your heart makes. So it goes like this. A dream is a wish your heart makes. And that's all I'm gonna sing because I don't wanna get copyrighted. Anyways, moving on. This page was such a fun page to do. I genuinely love how each of these drawings turned out. They're so detailed, they took me so long, and they turned out beautiful. I designed three original characters with similar color palettes and really, really unique, beautiful names. And I also love how this turned out as well. It looks complicated, but trust me, it was super easy to make this. Anyways, love everything about this page. And now moving on. I feel like I'm saying that way too much, but hey, it can become a new sparkle quote. This was the first sketch that I made for Mermaid. I think I was already like, yeah, a day late, but it's fine. I made it with ballpoint pen. The face looks a bit questionable, but that's totally fine. I love the hair though. So luscious, so pretty. This was when I was teaching myself how to draw. So I used a ballpoint pen and kind of forced myself to draw things that I'm not so comfortable with drawing and... It was a great learning experience. I must say though, the washi tape is so pretty. 
and that washi tape is what's making this page look good. And here, oh, skip the page again. This was a sketch I made for Mermaid. I was gonna color it in with markers, but then I drew on this side, so I didn't. But maybe, you know, someday I could redraw this. There is a lot of detail though in this sketch. I do want to kind of color it in just to see how it would look. Here we have a drawing of Princess Peaches. My friends love how this turned out because of the shading and everything. But for some reason, when I was making this, I really just didn't like how it was looking. I guess the face just seemed a bit off to me, but hey, you guys like it, which makes me love it. Moving on, again, this was just me trying like a highlighter trick where you grab your highlighter and add like color from two more highlighters on it. It was a fun trick. Looked great in the video, not so much in real life. And here we have the most randomest sketch that I made for the most randomest reason. And underneath this, we have a full page of patterns that took me probably a couple of hours. But I will say it was really therapeutic, even though it is a lot to look at. <laughs> now on the next page, give me a second. We have drawing ideas, which I don't want to show you guys because they're going to be featured in future videos. But just a sec, um, but on this page we have, I think it was part four or part five, I can't remember, but one of the videos that came in continuation to the series of drawing your profile pictures. There we go. We have another page where I drew your profile pictures. I actually colored this one in quite recently and you would know that if you've been watching my videos. And here we have some cool little tags that I've been collecting. Here we just have a fun little quote and this drawing that I made. This concept was kind of inspired by a description my mum gave me about like just how nice it would be to meditate near a beach and everything. It was winter, so obviously I didn't want to go to the beach because, mm, yeah. But that's okay. That's why I drew this to kind of imagine the peacefulness and the beauty of nature. Here we got Sebastian, the crab, and we have Ariel and Flounder. I love how this turned out. This was such a quick page. I will say, I love how the line art turned out and the shading, and I love how quick this page was to fill in. I mean, it looks kind of detailed, but it took me, I would think, about one hour, which is pretty good in my opinion. And now on this next page, we have a real autumn leaf, which has a nice memory attached to it, a nice personal memory of a family walk, which was lots of fun. And here we have these two drawings inspired by this autumn leaf. Also lots of fun, also love how they turned out as well. Continuing on, this was from the ASMR video that I posted on my channel. I love how these drawings turned out and I think the video turned out pretty good as well. Here we have a fun little quote, relax honey, and a fun little painting. I think you might be surprised this painting took me exactly half an hour to make, which for me is personally shocking considering how good it looks. I can't believe it took half an hour to make. I mean, this looks better than other drawings that have taken me three hours to make. Anyways, moving on. So we have this fun little sketch and we have this little kind of letter thing that I made. And in here, it's nothing too special. It's just a cute little drawing that I made when I was bored and I was kind of teaching myself how to make cute chibi drawings. And I think there is also a little swatch sheet that I Kind of created while I was making that drawing and here's how they look. All right, time to go back in there little one. Okay, now this page was such a fun challenge between me and my friend. So we decided to design a spider uncle after we watched Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. It was a fun challenge and this is how spider uncle turned out. I love this drawing and I love how this page has like a comic book kind of effect. Honestly, the movie was so inspirational. And thank you again, Mango Clouds, for the adorable, adorable stickers. Absolutely love them so, so much. And continuing on. This was my favorite page in this entire sketchbook because of how aesthetic it is. It was so fun to fill in this page. I love the entire process because it wasn't like a set process. It was kind of just like think of stuff as you go and just keep on creating kind of thing. It was so much fun to make and this video is still up on my channel if you want to check out my process. Personally, I want to rewatch that video because of how pretty this page turned out and how fun the process was. And this is just a bunch of sketching because I want to sketch. Hey, you know what? Art doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to make you happy and that is more than enough. And Mr. Froggy definitely agrees. This was from another five ways to fill your... No, no it wasn't. This was from a, 
drawing ideas video of how you can get your own drawing ideas. We've got Pinkie Pie, but thinking about it now, I feel like I should have actually drawn Twilight, considering how the background is purple, but oh well, too late. Pinkie Pie forever. This was me sketching late at night and for some reason loving my art. I feel like in a lot of sketchbook tools I talk about art block and hating my art, but I will say in this sketchbook there have been instances where I have got an art block and I have hated my art, but I feel like a different person because right now I'm loving every single drawing I'm making and I'm loving this positive mindset because what's the point in putting yourself down and saying your art is bad when Instead, you could be saying that my art is great, but there's always room for improvement. You know what I mean? This was my sketch of my spider Sona, and this was my digital transformation of my spider Sona. I love, 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 love how the design turned out and how this page turned out. So beautiful. I love like the kind of effect here and everything, and the and the texture and the pose and the way this face turned out, especially the nose and the lips. Beautiful in my opinion. And it was my channel's second year anniversary with 123 videos and 79,397 wonderful, wonderful subscribers. This video is going to end up being way too long, but that's okay. You can watch it if you'd like to or just fast forward. This was me practicing drawing hands. Also love how this turned out. I'm pretty sure this was kind of inspired by my nail art at that time. The next page we're going to skip it because it's kind of private and everything. Here I did a bunch of Spider-Verse fan art. I think this page took me about a week to draw and complete. I did it part by part, day by day, and recorded it and posted the video. It's definitely one of my favorite videos up on my channel. It's lots of fun in my opinion, and I love how the final result turned out. Can you believe I only used a yellow, one purple, and one brown marker for Miles' skin? Because I think it looks great. The shading turned out amazing and these poses are really good. I mean, obviously there's room for improvement, but I will say I'm pretty proud of what I've managed to create. Continuing on, some more sketches. This was me using stone paper, which was also lots of fun. Again, some more sketches and I just tried to make the page come together, but instantly regretted adding so many colors in the background because it kind of distracted from the actual sketches, but that's totally fine. Again, we learn from our mistakes. This was a candy apple. I think it was inspired by the Snow White apple thingy, the poison apple. This was... <laughs> okay, now funny story behind this one. This was a sketch of a dragon. And the sketch looked great. I think it turned out really, really great. And then I added watercolor on top, still going great. Then I kind of started outlining it with my pen. And I remember my dad walked in and he was just like, hey, what's up and everything. And he was like, oh, that's such a nice horse. And I was like, what is a horse? And then I was kind of stuck in a dilemma. I was like, should I make it a horse or should I make it a dragon? And then I was kind of confused the entire time. And then it took me way too long to decide. So now here we have the result. We have a dragon horse or a horse dragon or some kind of species that looks really funny, really weird. But I will say this was really, really therapeutic to draw and to do the outlining for. So at least it was worth it. Here, I was having a very, very, very bad day. A lot of stress had been piling up and then something really bad happened that day. And then I just decided to kind of, well, I didn't decide to, I didn't want to, but I kind of ended up bursting. Uh, but um, yeah, emotions happen, but don't worry. I was fine the next day. I just had one bad day and things like that happen. But as you guys might know, if you've seen Pixar's Inside Out, sadness is a very important aspect of life and Sadness is as important in life as joy because it paves the way to feeling happiness and gratefulness and everything. So I did have a bad day, but every other day that came after that, I genuinely appreciated. So we just need to be thankful for all the things that happened in our life. Anyways, um, I was drawing in a moving car. Horrible fail. Don't look at this. Got some stickers and fine liners on the same day. This was part of the drawing ideas video. I made this sketch in a different sketchbook. I hated it, so I cut it out. Then I looked back at it and I was like, why did I hate it? So I decided to stick it in here instead of throwing it out. And looking at it now, I have no idea why I hated it. I mean, it's not even that bad. It looks kind of good. But the color palette ended up working out so good between these. So 
that's definitely something to be happy about. Don't worry guys, we're almost at the end of this sketchbook tour. So, we have some more drawings as part of the drawing ideas. We have my dog and a girl inspired by cheese. And now we have a fun little quote, time to sparkle. And we have a girl with flowers where I used highlighters to kind of create this abstract flower effect. Here we have just a blank purple page. I had some leftover gouache after painting, so I decided to just use that gouache for this page. And somehow it has glitter on it. I have no idea where the glitter comes from. But I guess that's just the thing. Glitter is such a crazy kind of tool because it ends up being in all the places where you did not want it to be. And now this was from my three color challenge that I also posted a short video of. I love how it turned out and honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. This was just a bunch of random sketching and just a bunch of random stuff. Well, let's go through it. Number one, I decided that I'm gonna get a haircut and go from this nice long hair with a layer cut and curtain bangs to instead this with short hair, um, front bangs, and just a different kind of hairstyle, kind of like my profile picture, which is what we have going on at the moment. And then we have a bunch of paint from what was left over from here. We have some random sketches. We have these new stickers that I got. I just tried them out. A random flower doodle and a random sketch using my Uhuru Kala markers. Continuing on, I reached 80.8k. Actually, no, I reached 81.8k subscribers, but I accidentally wrote 80.8k subscribers and I wasn't bothered to change it, but I did write it up here. So I reached 81.8k subscribers and I was so excited. So I made this little drawing and I decided to draw this because why not? And then we have some more random drawings. I tried using a different kind of color palette again. So we have like a maroon kind of color, a yellowish brown and blue. And I created like this fun kind of page. I like how it turned out. It's not the prettiest page, but art does not need to be beautiful to be fun or for you to have fun either. So moving on here, we have a turbo from DuckTales or as you might know him, Dewey Duck. And if you haven't watched DuckTales, I have no idea what you're doing because you're just wasting your time. DuckTales is such a good series, you have to watch it. It is a great use of your time and personally, I would recommend anyone to watch DuckTales because it's just so much fun. It's family friendly, it's fun, it's nice. And I made a drawing in between here that I hated so I ripped it out and I drew Junie's little toy here. I don't know what animal this is, but it's just his cute little toy, which he absolutely loves, so I thought I'd save the memory. And here we have some more leftover paint again, and I decided to just make this fun little scene and write a quick note to my dear Junie Pie that I don't need another lights when I have you. And now we have reached the very, very end of my sketchbook. We have a fun little pen sketch, a fun little cloud, one of those ongoing rectangle thingy-majiggies where the rectangles just keep on going endlessly. I know this has a name, a mathematical name, I just don't remember what it is. We have a fun little sticker here and we have a fun little quote, just smile and nod. And just another drawing which I made on this page but I didn't like it so I took it out. And like I've been doing a lot in the sketchbook, I looked back at it and decided that I do in fact like it. So I kind of decided to cut it out and stick it back in here. And of course, this might be the end of my sketchbook, but guys, I'm only just getting started. Anyways, that is it for today. That is it for the sketchbook. This sketchbook took me way too long to fill out, but like I said, I was doing a lot of things simultaneously, so it's totally fine. Also, just a reminder, you can take however long you want to fill your sketchbook, but just make sure that you're having fun. You might go through stages where you hate your art, like I kind of did, but just know that you can overcome it. Don't keep comparing yourself and having those toxic thoughts, when in reality, you need to learn to appreciate that your art is amazing. And me personally, I will say that I love your art because I know your art is spectacular. Anyways, it's time to say goodbye to this beautiful sketchbook and start a new one, which I actually already have. So hopefully I'm going to finish that sketchbook just a bit more sooner because it makes me feel nice, you know, to finish sketchbooks quickly. Anyways, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, goodbye to this sketchbook and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. 
Stay awesome as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. See you guys.